I was flying back from a land trust conference and I looked down from 30,000 feet. I was putting together the landscape through rivers and I could see over the Uinta the Bear River. when I got my chores done when I was a young man, to be turned loose and to explore and a sense of adventure. I mean, this is where I cut my teeth on pretty much everything I've learned in life. The river means a lot to me. And from that perspective, I thought, well, I could do this. This would be a cool thing to do. And so the idea came from there. I need to float this thing. Yep, this is what I needed. This journey begins in the mountains of the Hyuena Wilderness and will follow the 500-mile Bear River to the Great Salt Lake. From the headwaters, we're hiking, snowboarding, and floating the entire Bear River from its source to its estuary delta at the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge. I mean, there are different challenges. This upper stuff is gonna be bony, a lot of large woody debris, River wide jams, log jams. That is a bitch. Boy, that's tough. Well, back to the boat shop. The middle section is going to be a lot of fences and low flows are going to be the challenge. It's going to be an adventure, no doubt about it. <laughs> I really want people to see the Bear River for what it is and recognize what a treasure we have right here. It's headwaters all the way through to the Great Salt Lake. It's a working river. We're on the Bear River, upstream of Evanston, Wyoming, about 10 miles. So every year after high water flow, the water user comes back in and rebuilds the push-up dam. So the water user doesn't want to do it, and it's not good for the river and fish. Look at this reservoir. This is created to work, you know, for agriculture. My great-grandfather, when he homesteaded here, the most important thing in their life at that time was the water. And it hasn't changed today. But it might be a, a much bigger picture of how do we remanage the entire Bear River because there are a lot of pressures on the river for human population growth and everything else. There's a sad sight when it's just surrounded by uh, houses. It breaks my heart seeing that because taking a, a community and selling it off to the, the highest bidder and turning it into something that it shouldn't be. The Bear River attracts a lot of paddlers with guys as far away as Colorado, Oregon, Washington, Tennessee quality whitewater and it runs in a time of year that a lot of other area rivers just aren't quite there yet. So without American Whitewater and without Pacific Corps coming to this agreement to release water, which is a precious resource in this state, for everyone to realize that recreation brings value is a really cool thing. This is where it hits the, the Great Salt Lake. I, I'm super excited to explore this. I mean, it's like the bayou of, of Louisiana. And I kicked off 100,000 birds in one shot. Just unreal. <laughs> there ain't nowhere else in the world like this. The Great Salt Lake, you know, everything that it entails, how important is that for migrating birds? It's globally important. I was asked a couple weeks ago in an interview, why is the lake disappearing? And, and my answer to that is we're not doing anything wrong necessarily. I do think though we need to do something different. And that's not going to be easy. Floating the entire Bear River, it just needs to be done to bring up the awareness. If it motivates people to conserve it, restore it, provide benefits that enhance the wildlife value and the human value too. That's the message that I hope that we can portray as this is a real treasure. Been traveling these wide roads for so long 
My heart's been far from you Ten thousand miles gone Oh, I want to come near and give you Every part of me But there's blood on my hands And my lips are unclean In my darkness I remember Mama's words reoccur to me Surrender to the good Lord And to wipe your slate clean Take me to your river I wanna go I wanna know, wanna know